Look at the carved ice! It feels perfect for this city somehow. Whatever it's made of, it can't be ice. I guess you're right. It's actually pretty warm in the city. Uh, hey, what's with all the children over there? Should we go and take a look? So let me introduce myself. I'm the intelligence officer for the Silvermane Guards, and a temporary guide for the A Journey Through Bellabug's History Program. My name is Pelageya Sergeyevna. But you can call me Pela. Yes, Miss Pela! Okay, guys. Take a look over here. This is Everwinter Monument. It was erected to commemorate the mighty architects. The architects are followers of the Eon Klopath. It was they that foresaw a crisis, built up our walls, and established Balabog, preserving the spark of human civilization. Even today, they are still tending to the city. Everwinter Monument is made up of two parts. A gear that symbolizes knowledge and industrial strength, and huge ice crystals that symbolize the eternal breeze. These two symbols are bound together, the gear restricting the ice. It represents the unyielding spirit of the architects in the face of nature's barbarity. Any questions?
Winter Workshop. Hey, didn't Jacquard say there'd be a show here? He said you can sometimes catch an outdoor performance. Sometimes being the operative word. Oh, darn. I wanted to see one. Oh, I had been wondering. You see that heater over there? Why do they keep it outdoors? This city is so weird. Normally you'd want a heater inside a building, right? If so, I'm not sure mighty is the right word for these architects. Tiny heaters are no use against the Stellaron disaster. <laughs> you guys sure have a lot to say about that broken heater. She's cool! Yep, touch it and find out. Ice cold. I was just about to fix it up. I forgot to introduce myself. The name's Raval. I'm the owner of this workshop. If you got any broken equipment lying around, you can always come find me. Though I can't guarantee I'll be interested in fixing it. About the heater? It's just a standard Geomero radiator. You can find them anywhere in the administrative district. Only just got here? Ah! I figured it out! I heard a loudmouth guard say that a group of outsiders had met with Cocolia. You must be them? What an honor! Where are my manners? We can talk about heaters all day if you like. Let's have a chat. The heater you saw is just a standard Geomero radiator. They may not look like much, but they're a real lifeline to the people. The blizzards here are brutal. If we didn't have a reliable way of keeping warm, Bellabog would long since have become a dead city, both above and below the surface. It's an ore, a special energy resource. Whether it's keeping the city warm or keeping our counters ticking, everything runs on Geomero. Geomero grows beneath the surface of the planet, and specialist underworld mining teams are there to extract it. Transport lines shuttle it up to the surface. In the overworld, we use the same lines to ship surface goods and aid down to the underworld. You didn't know? Bellabog is structured like two big connected disks. The overworld is responsible for administration and trade, while the underworld is responsible for energy supply and resource extraction. However, due to an order that was given many years ago, Nobody has moved between the Overworld and the Underworld in a long time. Ah, I shouldn't be talking about this. Pretend I never said anything. Isn't it just like cooking food over an open flame? If the house is a pot, then the heater is the stove it rests on. When she puts it like that, it actually starts to make sense. No sweat. This is your first time in Bellabog. I just want you to feel some of the warmth the city has to offer. Hey, seeing as there's nothing on your plate just now, want to help me fix up this machine? Just a bit of manual labor. You might find it interesting. Great. Then let me give you a demonstration first.
a healthy brain. Nice. You guys are pretty handy. You picked that up in no time. Want to be my assistants? Average pay, but I'm a good boss. <laughs> Do you just say yes to everything? <laughs> I was only kidding. Just a joke. Well, I'd better carry on here. Why not have a better look around? My workshop will always be open to you. And your wallets, of course. that Jepard mentioned. The one contaminated by the Fragmentum, right? I can't believe how close it is to the city center. They hadn't identified it. I bet all the shops and hotels in the vicinity would have had to close down by now. Move back! This is your final warning! But... But my proof of property is inside! I don't have any... The Fragmentum has already corroded this block. You can make a property retrieval request to the Architects, but only Silvermane Guards are permitted to enter here. I can't believe Fragmentum Corrosion has spread into the city. No wonder there are so many soldiers stationed there. No. As long as the Stellaron is active, the Corrosion will continue to spread. The soldiers can only periodically clear the Fragmentum of Monsters but the monsters will continue to emerge and multiply. Please try to understand, sir. Backwater Pass has become very dangerous. We're just here for your safety. If I can't get my proof of property, it doesn't matter how safe I am. Out of my way! Let me pass! <sighs> is always pretty eventful, huh, Don Hung? Yeah. That's because you've got too much energy. Meanwhile, you guys were beating around the bush and speaking in riddles. 
But check it out! Seems like we landed with a pretty sweet deal, right? We get the royal treatment, rooms in a beautiful hotel, and the full support of the locals. As far as trailblazing goes, this is smooth as heck. That's... not what I was going to say. Alright, spit it out then. Earlier in Klepoth Fort... Uh, were you paying attention to the Supreme Guardian? Uh, yeah, of course. This isn't my first expedition, you know. My powers of perception are sharper than the sharpest blade. Nope, she seemed normal to me. She was kinda harsh at first, but she turned out to be a nice, reasonable lady. Although, it felt like she was looking through me. As in, I know she was speaking to us, but it seemed like her gaze was fixed on something far away. Hmm, I had a similar feeling. Almost as if we weren't the only people in the room. Uh, do you have to put it like that? That's scary! Well, there's no way he'd get past Don Hung's sharp eyes. Uh, perhaps I'm too sensitive. She did promise to help us. I just hope she keeps her word. Mm, let's get some rest. We need to save our energy for the discussions tomorrow. Is there anything left to do? We're meeting the Guardian tomorrow. There won't be any time for sightseeing. It was a long day today. All I need is a hot shower and a good night's sleep. Oh, you too. Let's get to bed early and save our energy. I sense the next few days could be tiring. Well, I'm off to my room then. Express lights off! Achieve. 